five new secret mythic weapons to show you the best place to land and loot and the best weapons you should be using in the new Fortnite season. How do you get those mythic weapons? Well, the first thing you must be doing right now is planting your reality seed. Take it away from a busy location. I planted mine on the edge of a mountain here and make sure you are weeding your plant to get the rarity of it up. Yesterday, mine was blue and today it is now epic. And if you pick up the fruit, look at this free epic weapons. However, I am now able to increase that up to legendary by weeding around my plant. And if I take away this third weed, look at this. It is transforming into legendary loot. You can only pick these three times in between the weeding phase. In the next 16 hours, I can weed it again and get myself a mythic weapon. And I'm going to be showing you all of them in this video. Stick around to the end. You do not want to miss it. Let's see what I get from my very first legendary loot. Oh, a legendary AK. Look at this already. I've started off with amazing loot. Make sure you and your friends start planting these reality seeds and weeding them straight away and then continue on to the location I'm about to take you to for even more overpowered loot. With the loot pool having changed this season, there's a lot of discussion around which weapons you should be using, especially when it comes to shotguns. The ridiculously overpowered drum shotgun is now gone, which means should you be using the auto shotgun, the striker pump, or even the new two-shot shotgun. I'm going to be testing them out and letting you know because you could be using a really bad weapon without realizing it right now. Make your way into Rave Cave, which is now a giant party area. Let's pull out the Diplodoculus. This place is still filled with incredible loot, but there's one big secret you need to know, especially in solos, if you want to get yourself the best loot in the game. Heading down to where the old bunker used to be, there is no longer a key card, but you do need two players to get it open. And in solos, we know that that's not going to be easy. If you're watching right now and you want to get amazing loot in your next game of Fortnite, just hit that thumbs up button. If you hit the thumbs up button. All right, let's see what we get out of this chest. Guys, look at that. A legendary hammer assault rifle. The brand new assault rifle. We're going to be giving this a go and seeing if it's better than the other assault rifles in the game. If you haven't hit that like button already, what are you doing? Rave Cave is surrounded by ballers. You want to go ahead and pick one of these up. They're fantastic for movement, but we need these specifically to find ourselves the secret item to get us into that loot vault. Here we go. Now that we can ride animals in Fortnite, you could do this originally with chickens. Oh, you got to do is jump on the back there we go of an animal and you can start riding them not only are they a fantastic way of getting around the map but this thing will be the key to getting the vault open bring your wild animal all the way to the vault door and it will register as two people being there sorry bro this loot is absolutely useless to you but it's very useful to me and look inside oh my gosh two supply drops Huge vaults containing tons of gold. All of this is yours to loot. You'll be filled with ammo. Your shields will be maxed. You will be coming out of this as the most looted up person on the Fortnite island. What will we get inside our supply drops? Number one. Ooh, number two. We have got launchers. We've got new shotguns. We are absolutely stacked right now. But the question is, which weapons should you be picking off the floor? The new hammer assault rifle, the new two-shot shotgun. Well, I've got both of them in my hands. Let's use them. Once you leave this area, take yourself a baller and zoom on into the next zone. If you see other people's reality seeds, feel free to steal their loot. We've got ourselves some enemies. Let's use this assault rifle. The fire rate is nice. The damage is nice. 33 damage though will mean it takes an extra bullet or so to kill someone with that additional health. But the fire rate is really, really strong. And as somebody that is a massive fan of fully auto weapons in Fortnite, I really, really like it. But it does have its weaknesses. We've got a request to take someone down and look at them. They're riding on a wolf, zipping around the map. Let's use this weapon again. Now, the issue with this gun is that the kick is big. The one-shot accuracy is nice, but if you fully auto this thing, it is going to be hard to control, especially on a controller. Hello? Shotgun time! That is the two-shot shotgun. Now, I couldn't have had a better target 
to shoot against there. He didn't shoot back very much. All of my shots hit, but it was still quite a slow killing shotgun. There's a lot of delay in between the two shots going off. And if you miss with any of the shots, it is going to hurt you. It is definitely not as good as the old drum shotgun. Big damage going in with the brand new hammer assault rifle, but the kick again hurt me there. Enemy healing up. Still got shield on. Can hear them coming around. Decent damage, but oh my god, is it scary in between those shots. You feel so exposed. It is not my go-to shotgun this season. For me, I definitely think there's a better shotgun to use, so let's go and find it. Offering us up the striker shotgun. This shotgun can deal just as much damage as the two shot, but with a single fire. It also isn't the shotgun that I'd personally pick, despite it being just as good as the two shot. Ooh, got another target here. Let's line up a headshot. That up and right recoil pattern just pulling me away. He walked in the exact opposite direction of my recoil, unfortunately. Let's send ourselves in. Now, we all know that the combat SMG is the best SMG, and this guy's got the shotgun that I would pick. The auto shotgun is the most similar shotgun to the old drum shotgun with a really, really nice fire rate. High damage and no big gaps in between shots. I would definitely recommend you start getting used to using the auto shotgun. We've got a big fight going on here. See, I'm having to fire single shots. Oh, that's a decent shot. All of their health gone. If I fully autoed that, it definitely would not have had the same amount of accuracy. So bear that in mind if you're using the hammer assault rifle. I love the hammer assault rifle as a more mid-range assault rifle. It is seriously powerful. But if you're trying to fit the role of a long-range weapon, if I'm super honest, if I had the burst assault rifle in my hand right now, this guy would have been dead so long ago. Let's get up close. <laughs> let's, just, let's just run him over, poor fella. If you're struggling to know what to have in your final inventory slots, I would always recommend one mobility item, be it a rift to go, which is actually meant to be vaulted, but it's still in the game, or shockwave nades that are my choice. It's the best way, especially no builds mode, to get yourself out of a sticky situation rather than trying to run or hide behind cover. Trust me, make sure you're picking up shockwave nades. This will put us up to max health, max shield. We are in the best position possible to get ourselves a victory crown here. Oh, look at this guy. Can we take him out? Another beautiful headshot. Shield's broken. Such decent damage. But again, I have to control the recoil. Slow down that fire rate. And now he's in a position where he could get away. Oh, this guy though. Where do you think you're going, buddy? Oh, coming in for the supply drop. Big, big damage. Auto shotgun. See the fire rate of this thing? Decent range as well. I literally eliminated with a shotgun at a decent range there. Trust me, the auto is the shotgun to go for, people. Start keeping an eye out for it. I don't know what this person's doing. Although I am loving the new Chapter 3 Season 3 vibe and rap on that car. Here they are. Nice, 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 nice. There we go. Down and out. Only three other players remaining. We are looking good right now. Now, when it comes to mythic weapons, we're going to be using not one, but multiple new mythic weapons that take guns to a level of damage that is just not possible, even with legendaries. First up, I need to focus on getting this victory royale, but trust me, you're going to want to stick around and see these mythics. They are incredible. Someone's in a bush. Someone's underneath me as well. Well, don't underestimate just using cover and slowly moving in rather than rushing. Often the first person to get seen in his end zone is the person that everyone shoots at. So don't let that be you. I see this person hiding over here. Trying to do the same thing as me. Sneaking in. Overshield gone. Main shield gone. Bad accuracy. Only 20 bullets in the weapon. Definitely hurting it there. But I know he is weak. Let's pull out that auto shotgun. Bam! Look at that. Almost 100 damage with that shot. Easy takedown. So, so good. Leaving us in a top three situation. One player over there. I don't know what he's doing. Jumping around like a bunny rabbit. The other person, I think, is underneath me. Yeah, I can hear him. Now, at this point, the roof is the best position I can be in. But I don't think I can jump to it. So, I'm going to use up one of my shockwave nades. 
get me into a position that no one else can get to. This guy's got to rotate in. Retool hurting me there. The small ammo count as well. Finally taken down. I mean, uh, maybe the mythic version of this weapon will be a little bit better. He's gone hiding into the bushes. Get out of there. Get shotgun time. Where are you? Where are you? Bam. 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 102. That is how you get easy fit royales in this season. But what about the mythics? When your reality seed turns to mythic, the weapons that you could get are in this chest. Let's take a look. Oh my gosh. We got a mythic striker pump. Ranger Assault Rifle, Auto Shotgun, Heavy Sniper, and a fifth Mythic coming soon that we'll talk about in a second. Let's start with the Mythic Ranger. 54 to the head. 36 to the body. This thing is going to take people down extremely quick. And honestly, four shots... And five shots in no builds mode. This is going to be disgusting. What about the striker pump? Can this reach a 200 damage headshot? 180. Not quite the 200 target we're hoping for, but that is going to hit people extremely hard. Now, my favorite go-to auto shotgun right now. How much to the head if we shoot him here? What? 140. That's why I am loving this thing. The range you can get. I'm not even that close. This thing is... I'm speechless. Now, further distances. Oh my... What the... The, the headshot damage on the ranger assault rifle is disgusting. But I know what you all want to see. The heavy mythic sniper. I know you're going to like this. When lining up a headshot. And by the way, the ADS speed is quite slow. But when lining up a headshot with the mythic sniper. You're going to love this, guys. 200 damage. Smash the like button for the return of a one-shot kill sniper. Let's try it out at the different ranges. The damage continues. This is what people want. But when opening up your mythic reality seed loot, bear in mind that you only get one mythic weapon. So it could be any one of these four weapons that you get, but we're going to be getting more. The scene in the trailer, Darth Vader has his own life saber that he can actually throw and wield. We're expecting Darth Vader to be an NPC boss on the island where if you take him down you'll get his mythic lightsaber. These weapons are incredible and if you get one, send me a tweet let me know which weapon you get. On screen here you can see tons of secrets from this season that you would have missed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'll see you on another video.